so any issues guys any issues any doubts any challenges in the last class let me start the vm any questions guys and i guess three or four people uh, i got the response from three or four people they have completed the assignment and they just send it to me to my whatsapp that's good guys um out of 22 i got responses only from four people i guess okay so that's okay if, if you don't want to practice <laughs> I don't ask you to practice that's your wish okay so let's start the machine okay so uh, so in the last class we discussed about creating the tables uh, inserting the uh, records in the tables okay and filtering the records using where condition so now you got an idea whenever you open any website whenever you click on any product how you are getting that product information which query will run in the back end now you got an idea guys right when you open when you open amazon website when you click on any product cell phone so which query will run in the back end now tell me why you are getting the information only about that particular product which query will run in the back end can you tell me select query select query will run select query with where condition will run right if you click on any product okay so you can get the information only about that that particular product right you don't get the information of other products so i just want to buy any product imagine i want to buy this product hing okay so if i click on this means if i click here one where condition is running if i click on this product another where condition is running got the point guys means this click is different this click is different this click is different whenever you are clicking okay wherever you are clicking for each click there is a query that query will run in the back end on the database when you run a query on the database it will give you output that output is this one now you can see right right where where the name is equal to wag bakri song strong dust t1 kg okay so like that you can able to see the product guys okay so for each click one query will run in the back end so that query will give you the output that output you can see users can see got the point guys now how it is working in the back end everyone any any doubts any issues in this mechanism okay fine okay so let me log into the machines guys let me log into the machine okay okay so let me check the ip address of this machine guys i guess it won't change it will be 1.5 only but let me cross check okay so ip config right 1.5 okay let me connect to the server so today we are going to discuss about uh, okay uh system databases uh, how many system databases will be there uh, when you install the sql server so what is the importance of each system database what master will do what model will do what msdb will do and what tempdb will do and like that uh, we are going to discuss a lot of information about the system databases guys mostly the whole discussion will be there on the system databases today theory part okay so let's discuss guys so what is the system database how many system databases are there uh, instead of standalone instance we can also install cluster instance yes correct prasad you can install sql server in the cluster setup also but that is a different discussion i'll tell you when clustering class is there we'll discuss how to install sql server in the clustering okay right let me open guys some people are trying to open ssms like this windows or ssms won't work okay 
up to 2016 this process will work if you open run and if you type ssms up to 2016 only it will work okay so for older versions 2016 and lower to lower than 2016 okay so 2014 2012 2008 8 r2 so for all these versions you have to open run and you have to type ssms like this but for new versions uh, uh, it won't open okay so simply you have to press you have to click on windows button and type ss that's fine just type ss you will get the management studio if management studio is installed okay right so system databases guys so uh, if you see the system databases when you connect to the sql server so system databases you can see under system databases okay folder uh, so in the in the in the management studio you can see only four system databases what are those four system databases guys master model msdb and tempdb okay master model master database model database msdb and tempdb guys okay so these are the four system databases you will get along with the installation actually these four system databases you can see in the management studio but there is a one more system database that's, that is resource database that you cannot see okay resource database you cannot see in the management studio uh, this will be in hidden okay it will be hidden database guys okay so the, this database you cannot see in the management studio but what is the proof sir if you ask me the proof i can show you re resource database data file and log file okay i'll show you a resource database data file and log file guys so you can you can think about it so master model msdb tempdb and a resource database five system databases are there in sql server guys five system databases okay four you can see using management studio fifth one you cannot see under management studio but you can see the physical files in in a different location guys so what master will do what model will do what is the importance of these databases what if these databases are not there okay uh, in which order they are going to start when you start the sql server in which order they are going to start so in case if the database is corrupted are they going to work or can we start the sql server all these things we'll discuss guys so first database and important database is master okay master the name itself is saying it's a master guys all the sql server related settings all the sql server related settings configurations okay will be stored in the master database guys all the sql server related settings configurations will be stored in the master database master database is a very important database guys it's 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 very important database without master there is no sql server without master there is no sql server it's a, it's a main database of the sql server guys master is the main database of the sql server if master is corrupted you cannot start the sql server if of course you cannot delete it you cannot delete the system databases guys but in case if master is corrupted you cannot start the sql server you have to repair the master database or you have to rebuild the master database then only you can start the sql server guys so master is an important database okay so without master there is no sql server all the sql server related settings sql server related configurations everything will be stored in the master database logins information logins and their passwords logins means you know right so for example if anyone wants to connect to sql server we have to create a login for them if you want to access imagine in our batch we have okay uh, uh, we have anil kumar so anil kumar wants to connect to sql server when anil can connect to sql server he should be a member of this logins list okay as of now only these people can connect to my sql server if you expand the security in the login section as of now this set of people can connect to my sql server guys as of now this set of people can connect to my sql server who just joined murli okay 
as of now this set of people can connect to my sql server guys these people only these people can connect to my sql server if anil wants to connect to the sql server he cannot connect why why guys anil is not there yeah. we, we didn't create any entry for anil we, if you create an entry if we create a login for anil while creating the login it will ask you for password if you give the password okay automatically anil account will be created then i can give the anil username and password to anil hey anil this is your username and password you can connect to the sql server then anil will simply click on this connect button and anil will choose sql server authentication and anil will give his name and then whatever password we are going to give it to him anil will give the password and if he, he will try to connect like this okay definitely you will get the error why because there is no such anil okay anil name is not there in the in the logins list these people as discussed again who are all like the list of people okay these people only can connect to my sql server and if you see if you see here the login name which i just connected you can see this is the login name the same login name you can see win tp 28 kb mv 7 e3 administrator same computer name slash administrator if someone deleted this login i cannot connect to my sql server using this account if anyone deleted this account by mistake or wantedly i cannot connect to this sql server why because my account is deleted my entry is deleted so i cannot connect so this logins information and each login for example if i cr create anil account for anil i'll give one password right each login will have password right a secured password okay so that logins information and that passwords information also will be stored in the master database guys master will manage the security master will manage the security all the logins information and their passwords information and their permissions every everything everything okay will be stored inside in your master database guys okay all the information will be stored inside your master database just one minute let me be charging right okay so all the logins information and their passwords information also will be stored in the master database guys so master is a critical database it's a crucial database for sql server there is no master means there is no sql server okay all the other databases names other databases you can see right under system databases we can see system databases if you expand databases you can see two two types of databases one is system database second one is user databases user databases means if anyone any user is created the databases those databases are user defined databases are user databases okay uh, these user databases you can create it after installation but when you install the sql server you will get this folder in this folder you can see master model msdb and mdb these four system databases you will get when you install the sql server by default okay so this master contains the information about the model what is the name of the database what is the location of the database in which path the model database data files log files stored okay so the size of this model database all the metadata metadata means what guys the data about the data is called metadata data about the data is called metadata guys okay so for example uh, i just created a, a flipkart database in this flipkart database uh, i have 20 tables each table having a 200 records that count the 20 tables 200 records this kind of stuff this information will be stored in the master database not only this information the path say for example if i go to flipkart database properties flipkart database will be stored in one location right some location it is going to be stored guys okay so if you go to that path there you can see the uh, path in which location this flipkart database data file and log file is stored that path information also other database names other database configurations other database settings other database location file locations this information also will be stored in the master database guys
okay if you go to the files if you go to the files and if you maximize this window this path in this path only these files are there right so this path this information also will be stored in the master database guys so it's very important okay so it's very important master is very critical database guys very crucial database okay uh, one minute guys okay guys so this is how it will work the that is the importance of the master this information okay Ma database name uh, data file name log file name the sizes of this database and the path of this database all the information will be stored in the master database guys simply in one word no master means no sql server guys all the information not data data will be stored in the flipkart only whatever tables table in tables whatever records are there those that information will be stored inside flipkart only but about this flipkart database okay what is the name of the files in which location the files are there such kind of information will be stored in the master database okay so this is how it is going to manage if master is corrupted guys you cannot start the sql server got it everyone about the master database is it clear guys any doubts so do we need to remember all these things it is better to remember sometimes we cannot expect um, interviewers will ask you what is the importance of the mod master what is the importance of the model so like that they might ask you okay so you have to at least not whatever we discussed not all the points at least one two important points master will contains logins information master will contains logins passwords master will contains all the other databases information master is a critical database if there is no master ma sql server won't be up and running these kind of important points bullet points if you remember so, so one or two points or three points if you explain that's fine that is about your master database guys next is model database what what is this model the name itself is saying a model model means what what is the meaning of model just the meaning of model model role model template it acts as a template to other database correct that is the definition of the model database i am just asking just meaning of the model structure 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 okay one minute guys okay so model means simply okay uh as discussed model okay is a you can say it is a structure or you can say it's a template uh, for example if you go for role model role model means you like one hero so what you are going to do you will try to imitate him okay if you are crazy about any hero you will try to imitate him right whatever uh, dresses he is wearing you will try to wear such kind of dresses fashion right that's how the fashion comes into the public right some uh, simran dress uh, what is that casual sari some this kind of sari and all right sari dresses uh, pawan kalyan fan so this kind of things okay that's how the style is implemented that's how the style is pushed to the public right right so people are going to imitate the stars agree people are going to imitate the models right means what whatever qualities they have they try to Im imitate whatever um, either it is it might be a quality either it might be a what we can say uh, uh style anything they are trying to imitate they are trying to own their styles and all right so model is also same guys model is a simply it's a it's a template guys model is a template for the newly created databases model is a template for the newly created databases guys means for example if if you are trying to create the new database okay if you are trying to create a, a one new database guys for example right click new database okay 
template means you know right so template means it's a predefined structure or it's a predefined format for example you are driving you are getting one call you have three options either you can lift the call or you can reject the call or you can send a template okay if you just lift your i mean like uh, swipe up your phone you can see some templates i am in driving call you later i am in meeting call you later okay i am busy call you later this kind of predefined text will be there no need to type it automatically if you select the text automatically the recipient will get a message like that you are busy so it's a predefined text whenever i am creating a new database okay so i am just going to give a database name gp just gp name so whenever i gave the name you can still see some values here initial size is 8 mb data file initial size is 8 mb data file initial uh, i'm sorry log file size is initial size is 8 mb auto growth by 64 mb unlimited auto growth by 64 mb unlimited and whatever data you are whatever files you are creating okay whatever databases you are creating by default they are going to store in this location right by default they are going to store in this from where we are getting these values guys i didn't give any value i just give database name and you can see lot of options here okay files file groups and you can see lot of options some options are false some options are true okay so from where we are getting all these values from where we are getting these guys these values guys from your model database okay from your model database you are getting so model will act as a template for the newly created databases guys whatever database you are creating simply model responsibility is master will do lot of things master will store lot of information but model is not like that model will simply store okay uh, the predefined structure okay it will act as a template for the newly created databases guys so can i create any new databases if i don't have model database guys is it possible can i create guys yes no maybe you can respond maybe someone is trying to say the answer but they still they don't have confidence they are saying no i can't hear you guys please yes sir no you can say is it possible can i create a new database without having my model database yes sir no, no sir. i'm not saying no. like uh, you should know these no. things just try it so no, no we cannot create yes we cannot create any new databases guys if we don't have model database if we don't have model database we cannot create any new database okay so it's not possible so model the functionality of the model is only one thing it will act as a template for the newly created databases so whenever you are trying to create any new database whatever whatever okay uh, values you can see whatever values you can see whatever locations you can see whatever settings you can see all these things you are not giving okay automatically a model template there it is pulling the new temp, new database uh, window is pulling the information from the model database and of course model database is already there available so it is going to use the model database settings model database configurations model database template to create new 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 databases guys that is the importance of the model database now tell me if i don't have model database or if my model database is corrupted can i start my sql server or not everyone has to respond in the chat yes or no if my model database is corrupted please mention in the chat if my model database is corrupted can i start my sql server or not yes or no i need responses from everyone 21 people are there please respond guys
right how many of you responded i don't see all the entries you don't respond for important questions i'll ask you directly okay so if i don't have model database or if my model database is corrupted can i start my sql server or not this is the question so most of you answered yes uh, very less people answered as no okay so the answer is no okay so the answer is no i cannot start the sql server okay so why i cannot start the sql server you can ask sir why i cannot start the sql server model will help us to create the new databases right so if i don't have new databases if i can't create new databases that doesn't impact my sql server right sql server will be up and running but i can't create new databases right so you will get this question please keep this question with you you will get an idea why we cannot start the sql server once we discussed all the system databases okay guys as of now the answer is no we cannot start the sql server or sql server won't be up and running if my model database is corrupted sql server won't be up and running why i'll tell you or you have to tell me i'll explain about all the databases then you have to tell me why next is msdb guys msdb is a, is also one system database but not so critical like master and model msdb is not so critical like master and model guys okay so msdb simply stores the information about the automation guys automation okay model will act as a act as a template for the newly created database msdb okay msdb mainly will help you for automation automation related stuff will be stored in the msdb automation means what automating the things okay so i have 100 databases every day i want to take the backup okay so is it possible or every one hour i have to take the backup on the database so can i take uh, database backups for 100 databases for every one hour is it possible guys okay, okay like that i have 100 servers are there 100 servers each server 100 databases i want to take backup of all the databases for every one hour is it possible to take the databases backup for every one hour for 100 databases on 100 servers total how many databases will be there 10000 databases 100 into 100 10000 you have to take full backup for every database okay for every one hour for every one hour is it possible can i take 10000 databases backups guys not at all possible but can i achieve this using any with the help of any 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 feature yes we can achieve it using automation automation will help you to do that guys okay automation means automating the things automation see in r4 also phone also automate automation is there simply alarm if you keep alarm for early morning five o'clock you will get a ring exactly at five o'clock if you don't stop the ring it will keep on ringing until you stop it right that is also automation means exactly five o'clock you mentioned hey i have to get one ring at exactly five o'clock or exactly four o'clock so no one will comes to you and uh, they don't ring you right so automatically you are getting the ring by that time how you are getting that is called automation okay so that i can achieve i can take the backups of 10000 databases for every one hour using jobs jobs means automation can be done in multiple ways job is one way maintenance plans are one way so using different different ways we can achieve this automation so mainly we are going to okay create jobs maintenance plans and all yes we can take the backups for 10000 databases for every one hour every one hour one script will run automatically in all 100 servers so that script will take the backup of all 100 databases so that's how it is going to work we'll schedule it this script has to run for every one hour like alarm alarm is scheduled right tomorrow morning five o'clock i have to get one ring in the same way every one hour this script has to run 
this script will take the backup of all the databases of course everything can be achieved with the help of script right some things we cannot achieve using gui but everything you can achieve using script guys please reconnect it is showing less than one minute please reconnect guys use the same link to join okay